Welcome to MicroStrategy. My name is Michael Hoffmann and I'm working as the Senior Sales Engineer for MicroStrategy Germany. With the following video I want to give you an overview about the powerful capabilities of Visual Insight that come with version 9.4.1. This version is also named MicroStrategy Analytics Platform. MicroStrategy Analytics Platform provides the most comprehensive analytics suite for business and is able to fulfill the requirements from enterprise-grade business intelligence to self-service analytics as well as Big Data BI. But even more important is the fact that we can combine the whole feature set in one single architecture, on-premise or in the cloud, and it doesn't matter if the customer wants to run the same solution in web or mobile. This is possible due to MicroStrategy's unique metadata abstraction layer for business objectives like KPIs or business hierarchies. In this video I will focus on the new version of Visual Insight that integrates seamlessly with the whole platform. For this reason Visual Insight is more than a departmental ad hoc and self-service tool. During the live presentation you will see several scenarios where I combine Visual Insight with enterprise dashboards and even pixel perfect reports in a very flexible and powerful way. Let's start with the live presentation. This MicroStrategy dashboard acts as an entry portal for my Visual Insight demos. I'll start very simple in order to explain the basics first. And I want to add more and more of the fantastic features of Visual Insight during the presentation, like the new data blending or data joining capabilities that come with the new in-memory engine of MicroStrategy Analytics Platform. This is a VI dashboard that I already implemented. It looks simple, but believe me, you see only 3% of this dashboard at the moment. Visual Insight works in a very flexible and interactive way. Grids and graphs are related to each other so that the user is able to use them as selectors on the fly. And with Visual Insight, the user is able to enrich his data context on demand as well. So we can drill down, use multi-filter techniques or add additional columns based on the unique metadata layer as he likes. VI structures its content by layouts and panels. Each layout acts like a sheet in Excel and can provide one or many panels. A panel acts like a dashboard page. Now we jumped to the second panel of the first layout called Overview. In this panel I'm using an interactive heat map and I'm able to filter the data in a graphical way. I can even combine filter and drill down capabilities during the same process. That's a very powerful data exploration approach of VI and this approach is available for many graph types as you will see during the presentation. In the next example I want to show you that one graph can be a multi-target for several master graphs. The time series graph changes immediately if I select the top or bottom product. One of the great capabilities of VI is the option to undo and redo any action you've done before. You can undo even layout adjustments during your exploration path. VI provides a very flexible and powerful filter panel that is related to all panels in the same layout. A filter panel can integrate any kind of attribute, metric and even derived metrics that the user derived directly in Visual Insight. With this approach you can implement very powerful dashboards with many different layouts and each layout can integrate a different filter panel with different filter capabilities. The filter panel in my second dashboard layout provides several filter objects at the same time and we can combine all of them spontaneously. But we can do even more. We can run the filter panel in an associative mode that provides a pre-calculation for all business objectives that make sense based on the current filter context. With this approach a user can never run into a dead end of analysis. Moreover, filter objects provide full text search capabilities with pre-calculated search results like Google Search. I believe at this time you already felt the performance of Visual Insight. Everything is done in memory and the typical response time is less than a second. This is even true for derived metrics calculated in memory directly in Visual Insight or multi-graph updates with different data views. Now we dive into one of the most powerful capabilities of Visual Insight based on the in-memory engine that provides more than 300 analytical functions in order to derive new metrics just on the fly as we need them. 
In this example, the grid shows four metrics that come from the data source itself. and The rest of the metrics are defined as derived metrics directly in Visual Insight. At this point, I want to show you how to define a time transformation metric for previous month profit, calculated by the OLAP function called lag. A wizard guides me through this process and it's very easy to follow the instructions. With Visual Insight you can even define level metrics and nested level metrics that calculate their values only on specific levels of your data. And after that you can use these derived metrics in one or more filter panels, graphs and grids and you can use them in order to derive more metrics when you need them. During the rest of the presentation you will learn that this in-memory engine is not only the key for performance but also the key for the new on-demand data blending or data joining capabilities. With Visual Insight a grid or graph can act as a master and slave at the same time related to advanced filter scenarios. In this example both graphs can act as a master or slave for the other graph. That's very useful if you want to allow an end user to change his view as flexible as possible. By the way, each graph has lots of configuration options. So if you want to see labels on the bubbles, we can activate them on demand. Especially the graphical capabilities of VI are very powerful. VI can work with single graphs, but graph matrix as well, and a graph can be used as an interactive drilling and filtering tool. In this example, we use some of these capabilities before we use the filtered grid at the bottom of the dashboard as a selector for the bar chart. Multiple selections can be combined, and it's even possible to define new data groupings and hierarchy adjustments if we use the new data blending capabilities, as I will show you in some minutes. Before we step into the live presentation that shows the development process of a dashboard in minutes, I want to show you some of the new graph types that come with version 941. Now the graph matrix can use pies, donuts and area charts as well. Okay, and now we build a dashboard page called Panel from Scratch in three minutes. You will see that Visual Insight is very simple to use but powerful in its results. The performance is great and the dashboard should always react in less than a second. So follow me during this implementation process. I choose the graph matrix with line charts and drop the selected metadata objects from MicroStrategy's unified metadata layer directly in the corresponding drop zones. Everything is so fast that it makes fun to play around with the data. We can check different options as we proceed. After we finished the first visualization we want to add a second grid to our dashboard page. This grid will show the details related to our dynamic filter process later. If we define a new derived metric at this point based on revenue and profit, this can be achieved in seconds. Predefined calculation options save time for the definition and the formatting for the derived metrics. An additional filter panel offers more flexibility. We just drag the options from the metadata panel to the filter panel drop zone. That's all we need to do and we can adjust the visualization of the selector control if we want. At the end, we want to define graphical filter capabilities for the graph matrix. We can do this very easily in the context menu of the graph. And then we're done. Great! Visual Insight can use any data source and even combine data sources based on MicroStrategy multi-source option or the new data joining capabilities. Besides, Visual Insight can leverage the security definitions of the connected data sources as well. Right now you've seen the basic features of Visual Insight, but now it's time to show more of the advanced options that are as easy to use as the standard capabilities. Visual Insight provides three different options to do geo-analysis. 
Google Maps integration, ESRI integration, and you can even define and lay out your own maps based on graphical tools like Photoshop. In this case, you can define sensitive zones on bitmaps and link them to your data. MicroStrategy provides the right tools for that, and these geograph types are called image layouts. In this example, we use Google Maps as a master control for the rest of the dashboard. The network graph is a more sophisticated graph type, and it fits perfectly if you want to visualize measured relationships between two different business objectives like manufacturers and product categories in order to analyze competitive situations. The data you see is faked in this example. The network graph is able to show us competitive situations when small bubbles link big bubbles, because in this situation several manufacturers produce products with the same product class. If you want to analyze their performance, we can focus on this context on demand and see the corresponding products with their performance. The color and thickness of the lines are indicators for performance. The greener and thicker the line, the higher the values are. Again, the end user is able to enrich the details grid on the fly if needed. If you like to focus on more than one object at the same time in the network graph, you can do this as well. And you can even zoom in or change the graphical visualization on demand. Visual data highlighting is one of the pretty new capabilities of Visual Insight in version 9.4.1, and it works on different aggregation levels as well. That's very powerful if you like to compare a specific filter context with the rest of your data in a graphical way. Now you see the highlighting in action. The scatter graph shows one bubble for each item, and we can highlight specific items in the graph if we like, but we can choose a higher aggregation level like category as well. If we like to combine different filter levels at the same time, that's also possible and very easy to use. Graphical highlighting can be combined with all the other graphical filter and drilling capabilities, just as you like. And now it's time for ad hoc in-memory data blending, or rather data joining, one of the most innovative features that comes with version 9.4.1. Data blending provides the key for interesting use cases that go beyond just joining different data sources in memory. Now we will start with a simple example that uses joint data sources from a data warehouse in Excel. Little blue icons next to the attributes in the dataset panel indicate in-memory joint capabilities between different datasets. I will show you from scratch during the next minutes how to set this up. First we want to define a dataset that comes from the data warehouse. Thanks to MicroStrategy's unified metadata abstraction layer, it's very easy for an end user to choose the business objectives like KPIs or business attributes for his first query. MicroStrategy is the only BI vendor in the market that supports this single version of the truth for business objectives spread over many different data sources at the same time, and this approach is the key for a robust data environment and fast implementation process of business solutions, because every single object of MicroStrategy's powerful platform relies on this single version of the truth. In the next step, we will choose this dataset for a BI dashboard. This can be done with just one mouse click. In the next step, we want to upload and join an Excel file from my desktop with the data from the data warehouse. We can start the Excel upload process directly within our VI dashboard. A wizard guides me through this process and provides me the option to link columns of my Excel files to attributes from the MicroStrategy Unified Metadata layer. By the way, we can skip the definition of relationships between columns in the Excel file and metadata objects at this point, because we can do this later in the dashboard as well. If the name of a column in Excel is the same as the name of an attribute in the dataset, MicroStrategy joins these objects automatically. You're able to rejoin these columns by hand if you like. I'll show you how to join a column from one dataset with one attribute from the second dataset directly in Visual Insight. If you changed the joining definitions, the underlying in-memory cube definition for the Excel file changed as well. 
This is very comfortable because you're able to update your Excel data later on demand and then you don't need to redefine the joining definitions for the columns in the Excel file again. As you see, it's very easy to combine metrics from different data sources with this approach in one grid. And you can even define derived metrics on the fly based on metrics from joint data sources. You can do the same with any data source like SAP Business Warehouse and you can even join separated SAP BW queries in memory with this approach. The new automatic join approach from MicroStrategy's new in-memory engine is very useful if you like to upload different files from your desktop or network share in order to join them in memory. I will show you this process step by step in a second. We start with an empty VI dashboard and upload two different Excel files directly in the VI frontend. We don't have to leave our Visual Insight front-end for this process. The engine recognizes relationships between columns by the same column names, but the user is able to change this on demand if useful. In this example, the second Excel file has only one attribute column on the lowest level of the data context. You will see that VI is intelligent enough to aggregate the metric from the second Excel file by using additional columns from the first Excel file in the right way. As said before, the item column is the only attribute in the second Excel file. The small blue icon next to the attribute indicate the relationship between both Excel files. That's all we need to produce a grid with both metrics from both datasets at the same time. If you would remove the item column from the grid, the aggregation would work correctly even with the metric that comes from the second Excel file. By the way, we can derive new metrics by using both metrics from both Excel files. That's great. And now it's time for a nice goodie. If you like to enrich your data with custom groups or additional hierarchy levels, you can do this thanks to data blending. For this approach, we define a new attribute in an Excel file with relationships to the rest of the attributes already available in our analysis. And after that, we link them all together in memory, so we can use this new level of aggregation immediately. In this example, my new level of aggregation is called My Category Groups. You've seen the definition of the additional Excel file with this new custom group since the dataset panel. As you can see, I'm able to work with this new level of aggregation as with all the other attributes and I'm able to define a filter context or subtotals as usual. Visual Insight offers much more than a departmental, ad hoc or self-service tool. BI can be combined with the whole Enterprise BI platform of MicroStrategy, with any Enterprise Dashboard, data-driven transaction solutions or Enterprise Pixel Perfect reports. This provides a wide range of flexibility if the user wants to ask the question like, what are the details behind this view? In this example, you see a dashboard mashup with Visual Insight and Enterprise Dashboard. Everything is interactive and the user is able to maximize the BI screen on demand. The next example shows an enterprise pixel perfect report folder with two different pixel perfect reports at the same time. The user is able to jump to a details VI analysis by using his data context in this report. It's very easy to set this up thanks to MicroStrategy's dynamic linking technologies. By the way, did you know that this is possible on mobile as well? With MicroStrategy, we are able to implement solutions that run the same objects like dashboards and reports in web, mobile, PDF and even Office at the same time. In this example, I combined a details analysis based on Visual Insight with this enterprise dashboard in that way that we transfer the dashboard context with dynamic linking directly to the VI dashboard. The MicroStrategy platform is based on reusable objects and the VI dashboard is a reusable object as well. 
everything can interconnect with other objects because it's based on the same unified metadata abstraction layer. This is absolutely unique in the BI market. And now it's time for a very special topic. MicroStrategy offers great analytical capabilities with more than 300 analytical functions and even data mining capabilities. And the good news is that we can do a lot more with our new native R integration plugin. With this approach, we are able to leverage and combine the power of R with the whole power of our platform. And it doesn't matter where we integrate R calculated metrics in our flexible front-end technology. In this example, I'm using R for the red forecasting metric. I think right now you've seen that Visual Insight is very powerful and flexible, but one important question is still not answered in a typical use case. How can we combine Visual Insight with external portals in order to leverage existing portal infrastructures? That's easy, because everything runs in web, and an iframe integration is one example that can be done in minutes. The example you see right now is just faked and was implemented for this demo. If you like to use the whole screen resolution for your VI analysis, you can switch to full screen mode on demand and jump back as needed. Everything is still interactive and it's even possible to control the content of a VI dashboard from an external application by using MicroStrategy's dynamic URL API with dynamic parameter handling. At the end of my live presentation, I want to show you a feature that might be the most important one for an end user. The capability to personalize VI's dashboards so that it fits perfectly for your individual needs without changing the original dashboard. This feature is called Personalized View and it's available not only for VI dashboards. It's a standard feature developed for end users. In this example, I changed some settings of a VI dashboard in order to personalize it. After that, I define my personalized view based on these settings. That's all I need to do, and after that I can activate this view at any time. These personalized views or bookmarks are located in my home portal under the subscriptions icon. As you can see, my personalization has been activated for me. Okay, let's jump back for a second to the beginning of my live presentation. You've seen that Visual Insight integrates perfectly with the whole platform approach of MicroStrategy and everything you do can be done against any data source, in web or mobile, on-premise or in the cloud. The performance of VI is significant and calculations should be done in less than a second. Of course, sometimes we have to deal with data sets that own billions of rows. But even then, VI can combine its capabilities with dynamic prompting and push down analytics against the underlying data sources, so that Visual Insight is able to work on these huge data volumes and even with the security defined on these data sources. But the most important aspect of VI is the fact that it makes a lot of fun and the analyst successful, because we are so fast in our ad hoc exploration approach that it is a delight to ask questions we haven't even think about two minutes before. With Visual Insight, we can follow our ideas, questions and related questions in one query flow, without the need to ask IT professionals for help. I hope you enjoyed this live demo as I did. If you like to work with Visual Insight, we offer a desktop version for free, and this version is not limited to a small number of data sources. You can download this version directly from our website. It's absolutely free. And if you have any questions so far, please send me an email. I wish you all the best. Bye.